Hey guys, it's Jenik here with another Git tutorial. Um, today I want to talk about Git stash. So this command is very powerful, very easy to use, and overall I, it's something that most developers will will come across during their uh, Git um, uh, during their uh, normal Git process uh, at least once or twice uh, a week in their uh, in their day to day maybe more often than that anyway so what it is is you can think of like git stash as stashing away any changes that you made on your current local branch into a temporary area where it can be retrieved later but for now we're just we're just putting it aside we're just saying hey get rid of all my changes temporarily and let me go back to what the code base looked like before I started making a mess here. So that's what it means to stash. So let's. So when would you use this? What? Why do am I saying that this is useful and uh, frequently frequently used? Because uh, so right right here I'm in a CSS file where there's a body and the body has a font family. So let's say I'm like you know what I want to change this font. I'm going to change this from sego ui to times new roman uh, i want to change the uh, the next uh, you know what i want to change droid sans to let's say uh, Arial and helvetica i want to change it to Hel helvetica new i want to change it to helvetica and then i save this and i run it um and let's say it runs and i realize hey you know what this this font family is not really what I want, right? Um, so I want to go back. I want to go back. But let's say, and I, of course I could just press undo, right? Control Z. But let's say I, I went and made a few changes, right? Let's let's say I went across to a different file and I I did something else here. Maybe I added a new function called app two, and then now I go back and I want to see. It. And I've, now I kind of forget where, what did I really change here? So so I've made changes and I want to go back because I don't like the changes I've made um, because I don't like this Times New Roman font. There's two ways you can do this. One is you can go to your source control um, tab in VS Code or whatever editor you're using. And I can look at the index.css file in this view. Where it shows me, hey, you changed Sego UI to Times New Roman. You changed, you you deleted the new in Helvetica new. Uh, I changed Roy Sans area. So I can go and manually uh, make revert my changes here, or I can just press discard changes and that will drop everything. Now, what if you want to do this from the command line? And what if you don't want to, you? I had a hundred files here that I changed, and I wanted to just stash all of it away right then i don't want to sit, sit here clicking on discard 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 each one well i mean you could you could shift click and press discard as well but overall once you discard it here you can't bring it back right so if i hit this discard i can't bring it back however with stashes i can continually stash changes and then continually bring them back so let, let me show you what I mean here, okay? So this index.css, if I type in git stash right now, we will see that all of my changes get reverted. So now that times new Roman turned into Seiko, the, the new came back, Droid Sans came back, and now I can go back and uh, let's say I wanna run my code again, run my code again, and let's see if my fonts change. Boom, they did. The Times New Roman is gone. That's great. So if I wanna, now the, pow the powerful part of stash is I can bring it back. So I can do git stash pop and boom, they're back. Times New Roman's back, Ariel's back, the new is gone. So, uh, yeah, and all my changes are back here as well. 
So this is very powerful and this becomes very useful, especially when you want to merge other changes from other branches onto your current local branch. We'll see that in the next video.